Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is an alerting experience in Salvaged from Opposable Games. I am starting this literally from the loading screen because it works. Um, but this is my first, I mean, I've, I've run it to, to test it and make sure that it works, but I haven't done anything yet. And if you watch my channel, which you're watching my video, so I would assume you do, you know that I play Duskers a lot. And if you play Duskers, you know that Duskers showed up this week, last week, not this week, Thursday, with a, a comment about Salvaged, which is a, a new game in early access. So I figured, what the hell? Now, uh, Salvaged doesn't seem to be quite the same as Duskers, obviously. It is more of Aliens meets Duskers, where you're controlling a squad, or you're guiding a squad, you're not controlling a squad, you're guiding a squad through uh, salvage, through wreckages, through salvage ships, um, and there are alien threats and there are things like that. So it is very similar to Duskers, but I think it's going to be a little different as well. And before I get into it, I would like to point out some things, uh, negative opinions in my, uh, I feel, but at the same time, possibly positive criticism. I will say also that currently the game stands at one negative review and one positive review, and again it is early access, so I don't entirely know what to expect, but it could be interesting. It seems relatively well done. You have pretty full control. You can view around the entire room, which seems a little barren right now and could use a little livening up, I think. It, it's. The, on the one hand, the lonely expectation is okay, but on the other, there are other seats, which means why aren't there people on the ship? And it seems like it'd be good to know that, you know, to, to at least have some story there, because uh, this game does seem to suggest a lot more story than, say, Duskers, which is awesome, but doesn't really have a solid storyline. Uh, it has the, the messages that you get periodically, which allow you to form a story in your head, but it doesn't really define something as much, which, again, is okay. Uh, starting up here, this is the option screen, and my number one complaint right now is, hey look, here's your, lo here's your menu screen, profile, it's a button, you can click on it, it does not take you over to this screen. If it's going to be a button you can click on, it should take you over to this screen. Same thing for this. Options doesn't do that, and there is no down button for the Panopticon. Looking at options, okay, gameplay, I'm going to play on medium. Duskers I play on easy, the daily challenge you can't decide, so, you know, eh. Mouse sensitivity, I have cranked all the way up, and I can't tell a difference. This moves the exact same regardless, and this moves slower than I would like regardless. Audio settings, music volume started a little high, and I brought it down, and I think it's okay now. FX and speech volume are probably going to blow me out, and I'll probably dro drop those down, but I'm going to leave them there for now. Keyboard controls. Excuse me, that was yelling. Wow. Keyboard controls. Uh... So, yeah, keyboard controls there. Uh, it sounds like this is going to be a lot more keyboard and mouse from this than... That's good to know, actually. I hadn't looked at that yet. Um, so, patient stats, select agents 1, 2, and 3, and 4. That's game mode space. So, it sounds like this is going to be kind of more of a turn-based thing, maybe, um, for advanced game mode. Not entirely sure, um, but again, we've got inner key is the left mouse, left mouse click. So there are there are things that seem it, to make it seem that it's probably going to be, you know, I might have to go to the and kind of do this or go here, or go here, ah, jumping screens. So I don't know. Looking here, there is a problem. Visual quality fine, anti-aliasing too. I mean, the the screens kind of man. There's a problem with this, because I'd like to play 
at my native resolution on my monitor. It's recording fine, which kind of surprises me, but I'd like to play at my native resolution on my monitor. But when I select this, it selects a different resolution. It's it when I scroll down, it doesn't keep that. It selects that 1600 by 1900. So I'm going to go ahead and play on 128720, which is the resolution I was on. I selected no, so it shouldn't give me that pop-up. I, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. Um, but that's like I said, my number one complaint was that this is my number two complaint. I should be able to change the graphics resolution, even if it is reporting decently for my screen, correctly for my screen. Even. Also, back button doesn't work. Now I know that I have to do that. I'll go ahead and go here, and um, so I got shut down is to exit. Start is I assume start the actual game. Haven't done this yet, so let's see what happens. Oh, well. This is Alex Peterson, commander of the salvage ship Thaddeus. If you're hearing this, don't go to roulette. I repeat, do not go to roulette. We're going to have to go to roulette. Commander, are you still with me? Alex, I thought I'd lost you. Your crew needs you, Commander. Alex, you need to focus now. Panopticon Command Tablet version 3.0 online. Controls functioning, establishing link. They're ready to go. Hit the breach button. Give the command, Alex. Breach! Um, I probably shouldn't have given the command to breach. I don't think, well, they're not losing health, though. I can't switch to the lower monitor. I think is in game, not my system. Can't rest yet, Commander. Stay with me now. It's time to recon. We've got more hostiles ahead. You can see them on your map. Your agents can't. You need to be their eyes. Use the command tablet to set an attack plan for each agent. This is the path they'll follow when they breach. I'll set one, you set the other. Just tap on your agent, then a node like this. Um, considering how they're moved. Oh, it's telling me where to set. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of kind of leaning in that direction. I wanted to get the order to breach, Commander. And. I can see how they're moving, so if I'm going to play smart, I should try to wait until that's an advantage to them. Where, until, but the, until this person's not going to be swarmed and surrounded, I want to try to get things in a crossfire. Um, that might not really work very well. Okay, I'm going to go now. They're going to run to their positions and turn around. You're surrounded by three people, but you're not dying because you're not even shooting. That was a terrible plan. Does this person not have a gun? I don't think this person has a gun. <laughs> I don't know how... Okay, this is, this is interesting. I'm very curious to see this play out further. Okay, so now I have to do both. It's telling me... I'm guessing this is still tutorial stuff. Want some boats to go to the same? Nope, you want to go a little bit further. Okay. And again, I want to try to wait until they're moving separately. 
There's just some humans covered in crystal stuff from the looks of it. Oh, they're being chased. One's being chased. Okay, I'm pretty sure either these are super weak enemies. Going, Alex. Not much further to go. I'm with you. Don't forget that. Remember your process. Recon, then breach. You're in control, Commander. You can do this. Also, my name is apparently Alex. Um, which goes into the other thing. That, oh, okay, now I can actually decide where I want to put these. And I think I actually want to put these at a distance. Because I want them to be shot at. I want to shoot at things, right? I mean, presumably. We do have one person has been using their gun. Oh, one person's already been set on. Why are they going... It really seems like they went a lot further into the room than I wanted. And now they're surrounded. They're still not taking damage. I don't know if that's because these are weak enemies, or if that's because this is tutorial. These might be some mook enemy that don't do damage, but take a lot of your ammo. Okay, so this looks like it might be some kind of boss. Focus, Commander. Whoa. I'm sorry. We have to kill it. Alex, listen to me. It has to be put down. Why? I'm with you, Alex. Remember that. I'm with you. What? That is, like I said, Salvage has a lot more story than Duskers directly from the beginning. Okay. Warning. Power levels falling. Warning. Power below 50%. Initiating reserves. I'm sorry, Commander. It's time to wake up. Welcome back. Are you feeling rested? Quite the knock you took there. Brain function normal. Skeletal integrity normal. Internal organs functioning. Psychological state unstable. Caution advised. Initiating sequence. Neurodempers active. Diverting power. Okay, so I'm getting monitors again. Command room stabilized. Power at 50%. It's been 90 days since your last contract, Commander. I had no choice but to relieve your agents. Though most of them jump ship anyway. <laughs> Even Briggs is calm. Business is business, and your bank balance is running low. Humans might be divine, but you can't run a salvage crew on prayers, I'm afraid. As per your instructions, I set aside emergency funds, but they won't last long. Might I advise you begin preparations for hiring new agents? The barracks have been prepared for you. You can use the mouse and keyboard to interact with the screens. Use the W, A, S, D or arrow keys to navigate between screens. Use the left mouse button to focus on a screen and the right button to look away. You can use the mouse to interact with each screen. First things first, we need some agents. You're the commander, so you don't get your hands dirty anymore. Well, not physically at least. But these men and women will do what you ask, as long as the price is right. Two agents should do for now. 
At least they come ready with their own basic armor and weaponry. It's simple, really. Just follow the flashing buttons. Okay. No skills at all. Okay. Again, no skills at all, but that's kind of to be expected. So, okay. Here, I cannot right-click. I have to click back. Excellent. I'm sure they'll fit right in. Which I guess makes One thing I admire down. about you, Commander, is the way you care for your agents. That's a rare quality in this line of work. Agents need items to function on the job. A few health packs, would recommend some ammo, and a scanner instead. should do for now. Oh, and chuck a grenade in there, too. Figuratively, I mean. Follow the flashing buttons, Commander. Packs are cheap. That's good. Some large ammo packs. All of them, apparently. All of them is five. Oh, and more. Ten. Okay. So that's one. That's ten. No, that's five, rather. Um, he said a grenade, not four. Or a scanner. Okay. They look like they're itching to get stuck in, Commander. Let's indulge them. It seems your reputation still holds some sway. I've just received notification of a contract. It's a Panopticon subsidiary, but we can't turn our noses up at it, can we? Might I advise accepting the contract? You risk ruin if you don't. Contracts are how salvagers make a living. Someone hires us to find something particular. Sounds simple on paper, though these particular things tend to be in dangerous places. Here you'll find a list of available contracts and details about each one. When you accept the contract, I'll move the ship to the correct coordinates. Use the flashing buttons. So, I have a contract for Broken Brother. There is no audio. I'm not going to accept it. I'm going to read it. From Stella Anderson. You know how it is in this game. Panopticon got, Panopticons got us lying long shifts across... Flying long shifts. Very hard to read text. Flying long ships, shifts across the systems. That was just me. Can't complain. They pay us well. But it burns out our agents. The Caridium Catalyzer is busted. You think you can help us out? Always heard you salvagers were good at finding ship parts. Anyway, you're cheaper than buying a new one. So I'm going onto a ship. I know there's alien hostiles. Uh, difficulty appears to be low, and I'm trying to find the Corridium Catalyzer. The reward is 2,000 credits, or dollars, or double dollars, or yeah, whatever. And Here we I go. accept. this little journey, I will say, uh, going back away earlier, I did forget to mention, uh, when I was setting up the profile, I actually put in my name, but there was an existing profile. I swapped to mine, and when I reloaded, the other one was gone. So I don't know if... I don't know what's going on there. Um, I have to say the haze is kind of off-putting just because it's space. That's kind of a complaint there. I'd rather it just be, you know, dark. Also, that's pretty clearly a sprite, but it could be... The We've sprite. arrived at our destination. Now we're here, it's time to form a squad of agents. Use the blue buttons to prepare your squad for the contract. It could be that they're planning to upgrade those to, um, to actual renderings. So we want to add Sherry Martinez, and we want to add Ronnie Duke. Now let's equip your agents. Their armor and weapons are ready, so let's give them some items. 
each agent carries their own kit, so be careful not to overload them. Select an agent, select an item, and place it in their inventory. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to go... Oh, there we go. Lowdown. Okay. Um... This is a little overly complicated, I think. It could be pretty easy just to click on one of these and select from a list if that's the route you're going. Instead of, you have to go to this screen, then you go to this screen, then you click items and it expands off to something else. That's a lot. Okay, so we have two med packs that aren't actually, I guess they already have armor and weapon equipped. getting all the scanners. Oh, it probably has five uses. Five uses. Okay, so I don't like that I can't just select all of them when I have like that. That's... Eh. The UI could definitely use some work, but I will reiterate again, this is early access. It could change. I did not play the Duskers early access, but I did play... I did watch Dirt Dusters Early Access from other YouTubers, and it changed. You know, th there were some things that got a little bit refined as you went along. Almost there, there Commander. Things. Here you can see available entry points into the ship. As you make your way through the ship, you'll unlock more. For now, let's launch into the contract. Um, there Launching were shuttle. There were just definitely some things that were different compared to my first experiences watching it. Boarding procedure engaged. Patient cams online. You remember this? A simple challenge, if you ask me, Commander. Especially for someone of your skill. Though I will say, if it's not too bold, you're looking a bit fragile. Brain function normal, skeletal integrity normal. Internal organs functioning. Psychological review unstable. Caution advised. Start simple, Alex. Recon and breach this room. You know how to do this. You can use the tab button or one, two, three, four to cycle through each agent. You can use the mouse or spacebar to breach. Okay, yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna to try to start simple. I'm gonna see if I can get both these guys on a uh the contractor wants a specific item, we need to make a living. Anything not nailed down is fair game to collect and sell. Beware of how much your squad can carry, so pick and choose wisely. For now, however, let's take it all. Okay. It's up to you to choose the route through this wreck. You can choose to split your squad up if you wish. But let's keep them together for now. Huh. Well, I mean, Tap this on an case... agent's icon, then on a door node to move them to the recon position. Okay. I 
and I can see them moving. I like this. I, I think this is a good dynamic compared to Duskers. Okay, this is another situation where it'll be really good if I can just use this as a funnel. These things seem very easy to kill. Oh, but they just came into the room and you're not... Oh no! Agents will automatically reload using the ammo clips they're carrying. If they run out of ammo, they'll resort to melee attacks. Okay. Seems like we're doing alright though. They didn't take damage. I'm not doing too bad, okay. I'm at 95 of 350 kilos to carry. That's a lot of 350 is a lot of weight to carry, by the way. Fifty kilos is over seven hundred pounds. Eight hundred pounds between the two of them. Have you noticed the ATK attack and DEF defend options next to each agent? This is your agent's stance. Agents in a defense stance receive an armor boost and receive less attention from hostiles, but find their damage weakened. Agents in an attack stance have a weaker defense and attract more attention from hostiles but their attack power is boosted. An agent's stance can be changed at any time. Use this to your advantage during a breach. You can use the Q button to change between attack and defense stance. Um, let me see what happens when I put Roddy on point. Uh, well, maybe not on point. Hmm. Still. Okay, so that's an interesting, uh, interesting discovery. Apparently they're really stupid, and they will just stand in place shooting at something at a corner, but, I mean, you can move them forward, so that's not a huge ordeal. I think I'm going to switch them both to attack mode, too. Agents will automatically use any medipacks they're carrying if their health gets too low. Be advised, however, that they won't completely restore an agent. They're not magic, after all. Any agent left on the ship will recover their health completely. You can increase the speed of their recovery by upgrading the medibay. Okay. Pull that staggered formation again. See, they took a little bit of health damage there because they got into melee with one, which means you have to move. You have to move smartly, and it might be that you have to move slowly. So, good to know. How do I select both? I don't 
don't think I can select all. I did earlier, though. Let's go ahead and bust straight in there. Had both of those things in the corner, so that was a good, good timing there. Alien artifact has a little star. That's very nice. I bet that's going to be worth a lot. Gonna have to figure out what things are worth what. I'm also suspecting this is where I need to go, or is this the artifact? Good work, Commander. You've reached a teleport room. Teleports are amazing things. You can drop off your accumulated salvage to unload your agents. Nice. It'll also save a DNA sample of each agent in case something unfortunate should happen to them. I say a handy panopticon feature. One side effect of using teleports, however, is that their energy seems to attract hostiles. Be careful, Commander. You can send down new items and weapons to equip your agents. If you notice an agent is injured, you can return them to the ship to rest and replace them with a fresh agent. Assuming you have some in reserve, of course. Okay. Um, salvage deposited, progress saved, all salvage sent to cargo hold. Okay, continue salvaging. Okay. Um, I will also say, and it probably seems obvious, I don't entirely trust this AI. Uh, it seems like there might be something going on. You can't always see the hostiles on your map, so let's gather some information using a scanner. One of your agents is carrying one. Open their inventory, select the scanner, then select the adjacent room. It's only a basic model. Beggars can't be choosers, you know. So it only shows a hostile's last known location. Follow the flashing buttons, Commander. So I'm selecting Press right. I to open the inventory. There should be an inventory button. Oh, there is. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that doesn't really change my plan. Oh God. These things need Your agents are getting overwhelmed, Commander. Don't be a fool. If the situation is out of control, give the order to retreat. Hit the retreat button to force your agents out of the room. I'll stun the hostiles. Be warned, Commander. The hostiles will be riled up now. They'll be more aggressive the next time you breach. Okay. It's always good to try and get the edge over the hostiles by using a grenade or trap. Grenades and traps can do a lot of damage, but they're rather pricey. Select a grenade or trap from your agent's inventory, then select a node on the map of the adjacent room. When an agent breaches, they'll throw it to that part of the room. Keep in mind that enemies don't stand still, Commander. Yeah, that makes me wonder if there's any value in grenades, really. Because there's such a lag in where things are versus... I'm not going to throw one of each. Seriously? You want me to... Okay. So this is going to be a lot of waiting, honestly, because I want to make sure that they're going to be in that area, and I want to make sure they're not on top of my agents when, when I breach. So I want to get all three of these heading back. All three of these heading back now. You're supposed to... Okay, you did throw a grenade. Okay. Whoa, why are you moving forward? Why are you moving forward? I 
I can't. Crap. Okay. <clears throat> uh, apparently my did, did I already have weight last time? That's okay. Okay. Now, I mean, their health is still pretty good, but I don't know what really counts as, you know, good or bad, really. Oh, there's a lot of them this time. Okay, well, you have the most health, so I want you to go forward, and then I want you to hang back a little bit. This one could go really badly. There's... Uh, and there's... Oh, uh, no, it's not showing. Okay. Nope, we're good. Okay. Yeah, breach. Go down. Okay, I'm thinking that's probably a bad spot for... Oh, God. Okay. Congratulations, Commander. You found the objective salvage. The contractor will be most pleased. Contract complete. Okay, well, definitely taking all. Apparently I found salvager dog tags. So if somebody's been on the ship before, it did not go well for them. Um, I'm going to continue salvaging. No! What? Why would you not let me continue salvaging? shuttle why are you teleporting back i'm assuming that's a teleport with the contract complete you'll receive your payment from the contractor and any salvage we can sell it's good to make a living don't you think i keep a record of all completed contracts in case you want to review them with new agents except my previous contracts uh, response is bit battered but it'll do enjoy the cells keep your nose clean so i'm guessing Mission complete, okay. Excellent work, Commander. How's your head? Feeling sharp again? Good stuff. Panopticon will be pleased. More work from them, and our business will be back on its feet in no time. Commander, so now's a good time to upgrade your agents, and if you don't mind me suggesting, the ship. It comes with a few perks. Okay. So upgrades, crew. So how does upgrade work? Is this skills? using the credits you've acquired? No. You can purchase skill points for your agents. Using a skill point will upgrade their abilities. Simply select a skill and pay the cost to upgrade. Let's upgrade each agent now. Oh, well, five hundred. That is expensive. As well as leveling up. Each agent also has a rank ranging from novice to veteran. Kill enough baddies and your agent will get promoted. Huzzah! A promoted agent can then permanently master one of their skills to receive a constant bonus. Select a flashing star icon to permanently master a skill. Interesting, so I get to select this. I didn't get to pick whether or not I upgraded health, but I get to pick what to upgrade. <clears throat> Death state? Can I get some kind of... Oh, here. How, how long an agent can survive at zero health? Okay. Total units of weight? Nah. Chance of successfully hitting a target. Accuracy is a good thing. Amount of damage reduced from enemy attack or damage an agent can take before they're killed. Or pistols. Right now I have pistols. I kind of want something heavier, so I don't really want to rely on that. I've got lots of weapon types over here, and that could change overall. Um, there's damage, bonus damage, damage, bonus, damage, bonus, damage, bonus when using yeah, different types of weapons, damage, bonus from melee. I think accuracy is probably going to be, like, 
in games like this, it seems to be, and accuracy seems to tr probably transcend all weapon types, so accuracy. Stronger agents need stronger weapons, and in this day and age, the homemade touch is very much in vogue. You can use the salvage you've collected to upgrade each weapon and get more bang for your bucks. Okay. Lovely. Select a weapon, use the necessary salvage, and hey presto, a shiny new toy. So, selecting pistol. We've got two RISC pistols, Mark 1. Uh, so apparently I need rusted gun and metal plating to upgrade to a Mark 2. What do these mean? That's probably accuracy, that's probably... It's ammo, and that's probably damage. I'm assuming. Okay. Apparently get the Mark 3, I need engine components. Salvage sure is versatile. You can even craft modifiers to attach to your agent's armor. As with weapons, select your armor, your modifier, and then use the necessary salvage to build it. Simple. Should stop the buggers from cutting you up too much. Okay, so selecting light armor. You get a defense boost from metal plating electric circuits that I have, so I can't see the hmm. ship upgrading records. the ship can give you advantages both in and out of a contract just like with your agents you simply purchase the upgrade you want for now let's upgrade the sleeping quarters so we can hire some more agents okay yeah I definitely would like to do that Hardy crews need a hardy vessel, Commander. I'm more than just lines of code, you know. I'm the ship itself. A happy ship equals a happy crew. More or less. Okay, so cargo. Ah, the cargo bay. Okay, here's where this I is where I keep all the salvage you collect. You can sell it to make some extra cash, or keep it for upgrades. Though I can only hold so much junk in my trunk as the old proverb goes. <laughs> okay, that's a good touch. Current alternators, I saw that I need those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on a radio transmitter, because that seems like it's a eh thing. Um, I also store the DNA remains of any fallen agents for you okay. to sell. The more skilled a dead agent, the more valuable their remains. In this business, everything has its price. And if that weren't ghoulish enough, you can now abstract a dead agent's DNA. Apparently, it's all the rage in the Panopticon systems. For a hefty price, you can transfer the genetic skills of a fallen comrade into the DNA of a living agent. From noob to master in the blink of an eye. There's a cruel nickname I've heard in passing for those who've undergone the procedure. The walking dead. Meh. I'm receiving notifications of new contracts, Commander. It's time to go to work. For now, the command room is yours. Okay, so I have finished the contract successfully. I have this beautiful view of the ship that I just salvaged but didn't finish. That's going to be point of contention. And I apparently have pretty much free reign now. Um, can I actually... Oh, there's different profiles. Okay, profiles is on this screen now. Another bad option, it should be on the same screen. So you may as well just put profiles on this screen um, and for the run. Uh, but looking at graphics, I probably cannot. So I can't scroll for one. No, I want to keep, keep that one. No, that's not what I selected either. Yes. So, you know, some gripes, I guess. Overall, overall enjoyable. I'm definitely going to continue again. Honestly, right after I stop this, this video. So, uh, if you have any comments on Salvaged, uh, please leave a comment. I, I have my own opinions. Obviously, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, I will also say 
before I end this that the negative opinion said that it crashed after 10 minutes. That was really all their negative opinion was, was I can't run it. So, mileage may vary. So far, I'm enjoying it. I'm not entirely trustworthy of this glowing eye that's watching me. But we'll see if that has any particular meaning. I guess in review, going back to the tutorial stage, I can't say... Looking at this, the structure of this room, I can't say that... Oh, they were breaching this room and they were trying to kill me. But... I can't quite make out what happened. Clearly, I didn't have a choice in some matter or not. The AI was pushing me strongly to, to push forward. And... The people that I was sending through clearly did not, you know, were trying to get the AI to do something, or an AI to do something, and it failed. One theory is that I was fighting another salvager ship. Um, but I don't know. I mean, there's there's a lot of a lot of things that can be taken from that. And it's interesting. So, again, if you have any comments, if you liked the video, if you like the concept of the game, post in comments. If you like the video, do please like. And hey, there's a little, little asteroid floating there. And have a good day.